Here's a question. Are you in college working on your final exams? Are you at the point where you're getting ready for a certification exam? Are you struggling to find study methods that work for you? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you my approach to crushing any exam. Hey, what's good, YouTube? I'm Dewan. Let's face it. Certification exams are set up to test your knowledge and abilities. College final exams are the same way. I got asked a great question recently, and it's not the first time I've been asked this question, so I figured I would make a video about this topic. Well, anyway, let's get to the question. Sheldon Moss, shout out to you fam. I appreciate your question and be encouraged. I know you're out there grinding. You can definitely accomplish whatever you put your mind to. Now, here's a question from Sheldon. Hi, Dewan. I am new to your channel, but I have to say I'm enjoying it. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I have a question because this is one of my biggest issues, studying. Same here, boss. <laughs> I like the way you study with the highlighter, but I have a few questions. One, what specifically do you highlight? Okay, we're going to address that in this video. And what are the different colors for? Great question. Two, do you also take notes while, along with highlighting? I find that when I'm trying to read and take notes, it takes me way too long to get through a chapter. I know it's not a race, but it seems I be taking way too long. Please chat about my two questions. Okay, so Sheldon, I really appreciate that question. And in this video, I'm going to go more in depth on my study tips. If you have not seen the video already, click the link up here for my video on CCNA study tips. First thing you want to do is put out the exam topics. Got to have that. It's the most important thing when you're working on a certification is knowing what you're actually studying. Next thing is I have a three ring binder and this has a pocket in the front. So I place my exam topics right in here so I can just pull it out whenever I need it. And matter of fact, let's do this. The goal is to be successful. The goal is to achieve whatever you put your mind to. So what I want you to do is write an affirmation statement to say, boom. So now you wrote an affirmation statement. I would do my best and put it in the work and then sign it. Sign your name. Put a date on it. What's the date? 12 4 2017. So on December 4th, 2017, you wrote an affirmation statement saying I would do my best and put and I will put in the work. Boom, man, you signed it. So every time you look at this, I want you to be motivated to set out to accomplish whatever certification or exam that you're working on. So now we have this. Inside of this three ring binder, I have these tabs, basically these dividers to go in here and you can label them. Let's say you want to label with each one topic from the exam topics is security concepts. What you could do is label this tab here, security concepts. So this first one is going to be security concepts. And what we'll do, put it in this three. Uh, this is all about procrastination. No procrastination. We're going to overcome that. Stay motivated. Stay diligent. Stay consistent. Stay putting in the work. Stay disciplined and believe in yourself. All right. We put these in here. And now, whenever you are working on labs from that section or working on topics, you can put them in between here in your binder. And these are all my notes that I printed off from Safari Books. You got, I got a subscription from Safari Books, so I just print it off from there. Whenever I need to reference them, I can just come right in here. So whenever I got labs or something, I can just come right in my three-ring binder. Boom. So that's, that's your binder. Keep this with you at all times because you never know what you need to do. And also, if you got any extra notes, loose notes, you can put them in your binder. Next thing, make sure you got a pen. Got your highlighters, of course. I got my tabs. And now we're going to address the first topic. What is the highlighters for? Move this stuff out of the way. Also, I have a spiral binder. This is for notes, just random notes, whether I'm watching videos, whether I'm taking notes from the book or whatever. If, if I'm working on labs and I need to do some loose notes, I'll keep my spiral binder right here. Man, I need some lotion. Excuse my ashiness. I ask you the class, you feel me? But anyway, I got 
out my note cards. And these are for the exam questions that are before and after chapters in your book that you may be using. And I got something to keep my note cards in. Gotta have this. And you can label it, because I got one for every certification I ever took. So this one right here would be um, CCNA Security. And so I got my C CCNA Security book here. The first thing I want to do is open it up. You can read all this um, about the authors, whatever you want to do, the acknowledgement, dedications. But the first thing I want to do is go to contents at a glance. This is very important right here, contents at a glance. So what I usually do is I just go through the chapters. So this one is already kind of tagged. Most of the books aren't like this, so that's pretty convenient. But what I would still do is so I could flip easily open to those pages is I would just go in here to chapter one. And I would just tab. Now, my color scheme when it comes to using these tabs is in no particular color or anything. The reason why I use different colors is because I, it gets boring. You know, is for me everything will be, become redundant if you keep it all monotone. So what I like to do is put a little jazz into it by using different colors. Colors don't really mean anything, but if you like, you can come up with your own color scheme, your own um, scheme on how you do it. I just kind of alternate the colors because ultimately yo, what works for me may not work for you. So I would highly suggest you experiment, find out what works. You know, don't be afraid to push yourself to different limits. Get outside of your box. That's the only way you're going to grow. That's the only way I grew and I still need some lotion. I'm making this video with no lotion. Like, if you're going to roast me, go ahead and roast me. It's cool. I can take it. I'm a big boy. But don't get mad if I start roasting back. I'm going to go through it and do the whole thing. And then we'll pick back up in a minute. All right. So the book is all done. Good to go. Now, the next thing we need to talk about is the highlight. When I go through chapters like this, the first chapter in the book is Network Security Concepts. The way I highlight so this is going to be the quiz. Each question in each chapter, I will make a note card for it. Now we go through here, fundamental topics, understanding network information. As I read and I go through the book, like right here is talking about confidentiality, integrity, and availability. I will highlight this portion here. So I will come through here. Now my, my highlights, the colors mean nothing. I just use different colors, otherwise it's gonna get real redundant and real boring and nothing's gonna stand out. So I alternate the colors so that way it's, it's got life and when I look at it, I won't lose interest. You get what I mean? So that's the reason why I use different colors when I highlight. So this is saying confidentiality, integrity, and, and availability. It says network security objectives usually involve three of the basic concepts. So what I would do, is I will read confidentiality and I will find what stands out to me. So, of course, the first thing that stands out is confidentiality. The first sentence is going to talk about it. So, we're going to go down here, highlight all of this. Boom. If anything else stands out, I'll alternate, I'll alternate another color. And then I'll go down here to integrity. Because some, when it, whenever you're talking about, whenever you're talking about confidentiality, integrity, and availability, you know that's going to be something that's important. Then I'll alternate colors one more time. Go down here to availability. This applies to systems and to data. All right, that didn't tell me much at that period, so I will keep reading and see what else stands out in this paragraph. Then I will continue on through the whole book. That's the way I go through the whole book, pretty much. Like no. I do not go through and highlight everything that I see because it's really no point. But when you see something like in italics, like when it's talking about risk management, that may be something you want to highlight. So like right here where it's talking about risk management, this may be something that's important. So I will highlight it. I just come through here. Boom. And yes, it's going to take time. But if you, if it takes you a day or two to get through a chapter, you know, that's that's 20 days. And then I, I'm labbing in between that time. And then I'm mainly labbing at the end. 
And then if I'm watching videos, all of it's gonna play in and tie in together. So if you're watching the video and you got a concept that's like, hey, I wanna know more about it, where is it at in the book? Huh, network security concepts. So, okay, here's network security concepts in chapter one. But, but I can't remember where um, availability is. So what you do is go back here to the index. I'm telling you, the index is my best friend in any certification book. You go back here to the index and find availability in the index. And it'll tell you exactly what page it's on. So if we get to it, availability right here. In the index on page six. Boom. And so you go to page six and find what you're looking for. And you can do this for everything in the book. That's the way I go through it. So I highlight just to keep the colors alternating, just to keep my mind interested in what I'm reading. So that's the purpose of alternating the colors and the highlight. Now what I'm taking notes on, okay, something like this, I'll just make maybe make note cards over it. If the questions in the beginning of the book don't touch this topic, I may make a note card on it. I may, maybe not. And so I'll just go through it. But the main thing I'm taking notes on is lab stuff or things that I really need to understand that I just can't really keep down. So again, chapter two, all these questions. I made no cards of all these questions, and then I highlight. So network security threat landscape. So I will go through here, all right, financial. I will highlight a couple points in that. Disruption, highlight a couple points in that. Um, geopolitical, I will highlight a couple points in that. They come down to distributed denial of service attacks. And then I will highlight a couple points in that of what stands out because that's the way I'm going to go through and understand what's really going on and be able to reference the book because this book is not something I'm going to have just to get my certification. This is a book I keep anytime I'm dealing with network security when it comes to uh, ASA or um, Cisco networks. You know, now if we're talking other networks like my CompTIA book, when it comes to Security Plus, I, I reference that. When it comes to dealing with routes, BGP, I reference my CCMP book, soon to be CCIE book. So these books are something that you can keep for a lot, lifetime. So along with this book, your note cards, your notebook, OneNote, I talk about all this before, but also um, if you're doing any Cisco search, I got a video for the Cisco Learning Network. Great community. Check it out. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, Sheldon, I answer all your questions. And if you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section below. I appreciate everyone's support. I want you all to keep putting in our work, keep pushing, and keep believing in yourself. The year is about to end. Reflect, 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 plan. Get ready for that new year because great things are about to happen for you. Just put in that work and keep pushing. I'm Dewan. And if you have not already, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it out to your friends. Peace.